So recently I've presented at Microsoft Ignite about trend hunting in the cloud. Microsoft released earlier this year their cloud seam solution called Azure Sentinel. And while it does deliver on an investigation and hunting experience in the UI, in the product itself, you might run into situations where you want to go the advanced route, perhaps for instance to pull in external data or uh, to log your investigation and hunt. And one of the most used uh, methods is using Jupyter Notebooks. And in my session, I've shown how you could connect with Jupyter Notebooks to the Security Graph API that will then aggregate and show you all the alerts and information to hunt on. And I've shown how to connect to Azure Sentinel using the KQL Magic plugin uh, to get information from the log analytic workspace that is powering your Azure Sentinel solution. Um, that helps a lot. We can do KQL queries directly. We can search for information and find that needle in a haystack. One of the things we've uh, presented on an Ignite is a toolbox that is called Mystic Pi. Microsoft has a department called the Threat Intelligence Center, and they've released a bunch of Python tools that helps you uh, investigate and, uh, and do your search more quickly, more efficiently. Uh, there are a couple of things there. You can visualize event data. If you have a lot of data and you want to plot a timeline, you can find uh, time series, you could find anomalies and cluster data interactively in your notebook using Mystic Pi. Uh, you can connect to threat intelligence, external data providers like VirusTotal, XForce, AlienVault, and get an understanding of the indicators of compromise, whether or not the hashes or IP addresses you're looking at uh, have been reported as uh, malicious. And uh, we can do things like geography mapping and understand where a certain IP address is uh, originating from. And then, of course, using your standard tools that you already have in Jupyter, uh, for instance, like the GeoMap, start plotting them out on a world map uh, and maybe use those time series to get more information. Now, these Python hunting tools that Microsoft have released are open source. So if you go to GitHub and you search for Mystic Pi, you will find them and you can use them themselves. And the other thing to understand is that if you're in the Jupyter Notebooks, you can connect to Azure Sentinel, but also connect to Microsoft Defender ATP, for instance, to search data on the endpoint and uh, get an understanding there. It allows you to run KQL queries, um, and we've posted some samples on our GitHub repo ourselves as well. Uh, one of the announcements we saw at Ignite is that Azure Sentinel will be getting a new and more rich Azure Notebooks experience, so that when you're using Notebooks and Jupyter Notebooks, you can save them in Azure Sentinel, in Azure Notebooks, and use them uh, going forward. So uh, there's a lot of stuff. Follow Twitter, follow our accounts on the uh, links here under in the comments, and then you can find our source files and, uh, and see how we've done our advanced hunting with Jupyter Notebooks in Azure Sentinel.